there are two very, very different kinds of religion. Now, as integralists, all of us are aware of the spectrum of development and that there are multiple levels of uh, development that uh, humans can mature through and that religion is unique in that it, it of all the great human institutions has expressions at each developmental level. But to simplify things, I want to focus on two, which I would regard as the two most important levels, and those are conventional and transconventional. Now, the tragedy is that our culture really is only aware of conventional religion. Uh, and conventional religion centers on a story, a narrative. And the defining feature of conventional level religion is that its prime focus is a story or a narrative which is to be believed. And if you believe it, you're saved, and if you don't, you're damned. So salvation comes through our relationship to our faith in a particular story. And salvation comes from faith is the central theme of this level of religious expression. Now, in the terms of developmental psychology and the work of James Fowler, who did the work on religious faith, this is uh, the faith of the, myth uh, the uh, mythic literal level or the synthetic conventional. And, and tragically, tragically, this is really the only level of religion which our culture and our media recognize. Everything else, everything is lumped into that and often dismissed as only that. But what is so crucial for us to recognize and everyone in the integral community does recognize, but the, main, the mainstream culture does not, is that there's a, a further absolutely crucial form or level of religion, and that is a post-conventional level, or better, I think, called trans-conventional level, which centers not on a story, not on a narrative, not on something to be believed, but on a psychotechnology, a set of practices to transform the mind and to cultivate the very qualities and states of consciousness, kinds of insights and realizations that the great religious founders and, and saints and sages throughout the ages discovered themselves. So this, this kind of religion, this, is the, this centers on the contemplative practices. And one of the most crucial ideas we can get out into the culture is that these practices are effective and that they are expressions of a higher or more mature form of religious expression and that they, they help us mature to that level of religious expression.